Hello, this is Ron with Mobile Fix Automotive again. We have another Ford Triton video for you. This one is on uh, the battery indicator light or the charge indicator light, either one you want to call it, on the dashboard is on while the engine is running. Okay, so what I'm dealing with today is a 2002 uh, Ford F-150. This has a 5.4 in it. I believe the 5.4 and the 4.6 pretty much share the same alternator system. Um, the vehicle has the battery indicator light on on the dashboard with the engine running. Um, and it's rare for me to see this on a regular basis and, and still have the alternator charging. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this and then on a separate video uh, we're going to go through actually removing and replacing the alternator. So pause it. And Okay, so right now I'm inside the vehicle and I'm gonna start the vehicle up to show you what the problem is. All the lights are gonna cycle as the computer goes through its warning. If you look over here where my finger is, this is the battery indicator light or the alternator charging light is uh, one of the other things it's known for. So typically when this red battery is illuminated it's because uh, the charging there's a problem in the charging system. More often than not, it is because the uh, the alternator is defective. But I'm going to show you how to do the troubleshoot on this, uh, just so you can be sure. Okay, so I'm underneath the hood now, and basically what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to remove this air intake hose from the throttle body to the air filter assembly. But I am going to be leaving the air temperature sensor plugged in so that when we turn the key on we don't throw a check engine light. This is the alternator assembly right here. Okay, so the next step for us to do right now with the engine off is to go back inside the vehicle, turn the key on without starting the engine and see if that light is illuminated with the engine off. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is the car is off I'm going to turn the ignition switch to the forward position before the start, so the engine's not going to start. And you see the light is, is illuminated. Okay, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to turn the key back off and we're going to go disconnect the three wire connector off the alternator and do this again. Okay, on this particular alternator, which has already been replaced once before, it has a remanufactured sticker on the side of it that says remanufactured in Mexico, so it's definitely not a factory alternator. There are three basic wiring connections on this alternator. There is your main charge wire to your bat that charges your battery, which is this big post right here that has a 10 millimeter nut on it most of the time. Then you have a single wire. And then to the right of that, from our view, there is a three-wire connector. Reach down in there and see if you can wiggle it and pop it off. If it doesn't want to pop off, use a screwdriver to pull this little tang out and, uh, and pull it off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the car, turn the key back on, and if the light is still on, then we have a problem inside the vehicle. If the light goes off, then we know we have a defective alternator. Okay, so now we're back inside the cab once again. I'm gonna turn the key on. Hey, imagine that, the battery light went off. That's exactly what I wanna see to let me know that the alternator's probably got a bad rectifier or a diode assembly in it or a voltage regulator. Um, but I, what I wanna show you is, is that even though the light was on, this thing was actually still charging. So we're gonna pause it. I'm going to plug the alternator back in and put the air hose back on and then I'm going to show you the voltage readings on this alternator and show you that it's still putting out 14 volts but the battery indicator light is defective. Okay, so we're on the same vehicle and as you can see from the readings on my electronic machine, this alternator is putting out 14.41 volts but the indicator light on the dashboard is on. Now, just a second ago, I made the comment that the, the, the light would, was defective. That's not what I meant on the dashboard. I meant that the alternator was sending defective readings to the dashboard. That's the, the more accurate. So at this point, at this point, there's not much more that we need to do with the diagnostics. We know 
by step by step, this is a defective alternator. So we're going to be putting on right here a quality remanufactured Ford alternator um, to take care of this problem for the customer. And uh, once again, this vehicle actually uh, is owned by uh, the lady that we did the intake manifold gasket leak for. So I want to thank Cindy and her son for uh, letting me donate my time on this one uh, to do this video for you guys. Um, go ahead and keep your eyes open for the replacement alternator video and I'll show you step by step how to take this alternator off and put it back on. It's a fairly easy process. Uh, have a nice day. See you guys on the next video.